Good morning, everyone. My name is Tammy Skipper, and it's my distinct pleasure to welcome you all to Akron's first Prevention Summit. Before we launch in, we have a special presentation to get us started and set the tone for today's conference. I'd like to invite my friend and co-host, Steve McGarrity, as well as Summit County Executive Eileen Shapiro to the stage, please. everybody okay one more time good morning everybody good morning. well I am delighted to be here with you all this morning I had the opportunity to spend a few minutes talking with some of you that make a difference in people's lives make them have a home that's safe that they can live in and grow a family and nurture their kids and have a life that is fulfilling as fulfilling as they decide that they want that to be uh, I want to thank you, first of all, for the work that you do every single day. Uh, oftentimes, there are unsung heroes in our world, and we have a lot of them here in Summit County that work so hard to, have, to make things happen for people who are unable to make them happen or don't know how to make them happen themselves. So I wanted to thank you. Could we have a round of applause for all of you? So since I have the bully pulpit, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about working together. Summit County is a very collaborative community, but we have to start thinking differently about how we collaborate. So one of the questions that I ask people when they're planning something or they'll come up with a new idea and they want to run it past me, okay, so then what? If you get somebody into a home and it's safe, you may have done your job, but have we really done what we need to do to connect those people to what else they need to become self-sufficient and to build a better future? So connecting the dots, thank you, thank you. Um, connecting the dots is really important and thinking a little bit differently about how you implement and how you do what you do and do you have to do it alone? Are there other people within this ecosystem here that could help you do it or are already doing it so we can leverage the talents and the resources that we have here? So my call to action for you today would be to think about that. Challenge yourself to think differently about how you're delivering services and fulfilling the greatest needs that these people have because it's not just about housing. It's about a better life for people and their families. So I'm going to put my bully pulpit away now, okay? So uh, we here at Summit County are very supportive of all the housing endeavors. And I did want to give a couple of shout outs. Some of these folks are in the audience and I apologize if there aren't. Um, where's Cheryl Stevens from East Akron Community House? Cheryl, where are you? Over here who's doing and has done some amazing housing work in Summit County, and we are, we are proud to, be, to partner with her. I don't know if Patrick Bravo from our land bank is here. Patrick has done an amazing job with that, with that opportunity, which we, created the, which we created when the foreclosure crisis went down, and now it is doing some amazing work. If you don't know about it, reach out to Patrick. Um, where is Jeff Wilhite, Family Promise? There you are. Again, some amazing work. These are partners that we work with all the time. We have a Summit County uh, Affordable Housing Trust. Jeff was a spark plug behind that. We have many programs around investment. We uh, support the I Promise Housing. We have rehab programs. We have weatherization programs. We use our community development block grant. We have tentacles, folks. You just have to talk to us and to each other so that when you're coming to us, you have a plan and the plan tells me what's next, okay? So it is my honor this morning to present a proclamation. So you guys wanna come up here? They'll be able to hear me. 
whereas Community Legal Aid and Fair Housing Contract Service hosts the inaugural, inaugural eviction prevention summit for renters, landlords, housing advocates, developers, public officials, nonprofit, and for-profit leaders, and the community members to come together and share experiences and learn from each other and design innovative and collaborative solutions to bring forth a new pathway toward housing security and freedom. Where Summit County is one of the highest eviction rates in the state of Ohio, where nearly seven households are displaced each day in an urban hub of Akron. And whereas to ease this problem, Summit County has distributed over $15 million for rent, mortgage, and utility assistance from the Coronavirus Relief Economic Security, the CARES Act funds. In addition, Summit County and its partners at the United Way continue to offer rent and utility assistance to residents in need from the Federal Emergency Rental Assistance, ERA program. So these folks so far have allowed for 17, another $16 million in assistance, so over $30 million. In 2020, Summit County partnered with the Development Finance Authority, the Western Reserve Fund, to create the Summit County Affordable Housing Trust. This fund will provide grants and loans to support the development of affordable housing. The county already has provided $500,000 to offer grants and loans to potential developers and is committed to providing another $500,000. And whereas stable housing is the cornerstone of building a strong and vibrant community. Now, Therefore, I, Eileen Shapiro, Summit County Executive, do hereby proclaim April 25th through April 29th, 2022, to be Eviction Protection Prevention Week in Summit County. You're supposed to clap now. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Executive Shapiro, for sharing this important moment in our community with us. We appreciate your leadership and commitment to safe housing for all of our residents. Can we give her another round of applause? It's hard to believe this day is finally here after years, literally years, of talking, conceiving, and planning. We are thrilled to have you all joining us for this important moment in our community. We first started talking about hosting an event like this in 2019, but at that point, what we were thinking about looked very different than where we are today. Our organizations, Fair Housing Contact Service and Community Legal Aid, have been acutely aware of our community's eviction crisis for many years, but it seemed like no one outside of housing advocates and a handful of community leaders were aware that this issue even existed. Wouldn't it be great, we thought, if we could bring together people and raise awareness for this critical issue. But a funny thing happened on our way through the global COVID-19 pandemic. Eviction became a public health concern and therefore a hot topic on every news program and newspaper front page. So last year, when we felt like the time may be coming when we could safely host this conference in person, our goalposts shifted. It was no longer necessary to raise awareness about the problem of eviction. We now had a unique opportunity to focus on solutions. We knew we could only do this by having everyone's voices and perspectives in the room. Tenants, landlords, housing advocates, policymakers, community leaders, and residents. But even we have been overwhelmed with the response. Looking around the room is humbling to see the vast array of organizations and individuals who want to shape the future of our housing and our community. We will take time later in our program today to recognize each of you. But for now, I just want to say thank you to each of you for committing to being a critical part of this conversation. Our community is ready for change. Your presence here today is a testament to that. I encourage each of you to carry that with you throughout your time here today. Before we dismiss for our first sessions of the day, I want to give you all a high level overview of what you can expect. Our, our day will be broken into three main segments. The morning will consist of panel presentations. You can see details for these sessions in your programs and select which you would like to attend. 
Lunch will be served during a live on-stage interview with Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist and author Matthew Desmond. After a brief, brief break following lunch, we will commence with the heart and soul of today's event, our roundtable discussions. We will all break into random groups to discuss what we have learned today and share ideas about ways to combat communities' high eviction rates. We'll also have a special presentation later today from Mayor Dan Horrigan and from spoken word artist Exposure. It's a full day, so fuel up with coffee and breakfast. We'll wrap up our welcome session in a moment and head downstairs for our panel sessions. These sessions begin at 9.15. However, there's a couple housekeeping items I want to mention briefly. As you wait for your session to begin, please check out the resources tables available in our expo hall downstairs. There's a lot of good, a lot of good information and materials there um, for you all to take access to. If you didn't check in at the registration table this morning, make sure you do. So you receive your packet and park and validation pass if you need it. In your programs, you'll also find some line pages for notes. Please feel free to use these to jot down questions thoughts or ideas throughout the day. They will come in handy during our roundtable discussions this afternoon. We do have members of the press here with us throughout the course of the day. We also have a private photographer and videographer capturing the day, so we have a record of our efforts here today. Members of the press will be wearing badges to identify, identify them as such, excuse me. We respect your individual choice about whether or not to speak to members of the press. With all that said, we'll now transition into our panel presentations, and I want to personally thank you all again for being here, and I'll see you back here for lunch. Thank you.